Hi and welcome to a new video. Live360 is a platform that is primarily designed to enable its users, friends and family members to share and track their locations with one another. But what if you want to temporarily go incognito without notifying anyone within your circle? In this video, I'll show you how you can fake your location to keep Life360 from tracking your exact whereabouts. Let's go! There are some basic steps you can do on your iPhone to keep Life360 from tracking your location. Of course, the simplest solution to keep undetected and untracked is by going offline. So, disable your Wi-Fi or cellular data connections. This will keep the app from running in the background. The second step is to disable your iPhone's location services. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down, and select Privacy. Then make sure the Location Services toggle is disabled. However, this will keep all your location-based apps from using your iPhone's location services. So, if you want to restrict location access only from Life360, you can directly configure the location sharing within the app. Open Life360 and tap on Settings. Select Location Sharing, then disable the switch beside your name. However, these steps that I have mentioned will only manage to stop Life360 from tracking your real-time location data. Besides, your friends or family members will be notified that you turned off your location permissions so they will know that you're off the grid. If you want to go incognito for a while without notifying anyone, you will have to spoof your iPhone's location. However, the only way to do this without resorting to jailbreak is by using a computer and installing a software. Unfortunately, on normal iPhones that don't have a jailbreak, you can't just install an app to change your location. This is because the apps you have downloaded from App Store don't have that capacity. Aside from that, I don't recommend making a jailbreak if you're just testing it out. In worst case scenario, it may just cause harm to your device. Without a jailbreak, you will need to use a computer and install a program in order to change your location. There are several programs that you can use. I personally like iMyPhone's NE2 and Tenorshare's iNeGo, which works both on Windows and Mac. If you want to know more about each program, you can check out the links in the description below. In this video, I'll go more into detail how iMyPhone's NE2 works, but the application from Tenorshare functions mostly in the same way as well. With iMyPhone NE2, you can spoof a location and your location-based apps like Google Maps, Snapchat, or WhatsApp will inherit the fake location. You can try it with restricted access for free, or you can purchase a plan to have unlimited use of the features. Choose your plan by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. Now, let's start setting up your iMyPhone NE2. First, choose your operating system, then download and install it on your computer. Afterwards, launch the program and click Get Started. Next, connect your iPhone using an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure that there will be no problem with the transfer of data. If this is your first time connecting to the program, you have to confirm that you trust this computer when prompted on your iPhone and provide your passcode when required. The next time you connect to iMyPhone NE2, you can directly choose your device just like in my case here. You can either choose to connect via Wi-Fi or cable. I will choose cable connection because it is much stable and reliable. When you connect your iPhone to the software, make sure to keep your device unlocked and keep the screen from turning off. To ensure your phone screen stays on, go to Settings, tap on Display and Brightness, and select Auto Lock. Then set the configuration to Never. Once a connection is established, your iMyPhone NE2's dashboard should load the map. On the top right corner, you will see four different modes on which you can use to change location. These are the Joystick Mode, Two-Spot Mode, Multi-Spot Mode, and Teleport Mode. I'll explain how to spoof your location using these different modes in a while. As I have mentioned earlier, iMyPhone NE2 offers a trial version, but it comes with restricted access. Here, you will see which features are available in the trial version and which ones are not. 
Now, if you want to move to a certain location instantly, you can enable the Teleport mode. To select a destination, you can use the search bar or simply click on the map directly. After selecting a location, you will automatically be teleported virtually. Your position on Life360 will inherit the changed location as well. If you're using the software on trial, keep in mind that you will be allowed to teleport to selected locations for five times only. Next are the two-spot mode and the multi-spot mode. These two will allow you to create a route and simulate a realistic movement. Under two-spot mode, you can move from your current location to a selected destination. On the other hand, multi-spot mode allows you to create a route with multiple locations. Just as I have done earlier under the teleport mode, you can select locations either through the search bar or by clicking directly on the map. Every selected location will be added on the sidebar panel accordingly. But keep in mind that it will not use the roads anymore. Instead, it will go along the exact path you set. If you want to know how each mode works out in detail, you can watch my video linked in the top right corner or in the description below. By using these modes, you can keep your privacy and go incognito without alerting anyone within your circle on Life360. Now, if you want to return to your original location, click on the Reset Location button located at the lower right corner of the dashboard. In some cases, this might not automatically revert the location changes of your iPhone. To ensure your location will return to its original state, you will have to restart your device. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.